Hi guys, as promised, here is my Photoshop tutorial for inverting your images and even more. I have opened up my photo and the fastest way to invert is control I and then you'll see you have an inverted image. I'm going to undo that by hitting control I or control Z for undo. Another way to invert in case you forget that one, is Image Adjustments, Invert. Look at that. I'm going to hit Control-Z. Now, there's even another way to invert your image over here. These are your adjustment layers. If you want to add it as a separate layer, and we'll talk about why you might want to do that later, um, if you click on Invert right here. Now, you don't know that's Invert unless someone shows you or you roll over it and it will show you that it is in fact invert. So there you go. I just inverted it and it added a new layer. And the reason that you might want to do that is that now you can blend it differently. So depending on the adjustment layer that you use, the blending mode, excuse me, um, you're going to get absolutely nothing, or you may get something cooler than what you had in the first place. Um, for our purposes, normal is absolutely fine for right now. Okay. Um, so once you have an inverted version of this, I am actually going to drop this into the garbage by dragging it. And now I'm going to control I. So you see now it's all on one layer. So you don't need to make a second layer to invert it. So once you have an inverted version of it, you're going to go to File and Save As. You can save it on your computer. And you can see I already have a bunch of these saved. So I have Spatula 1, and I'm going to name it Invert, even though I already have one that's inverted. Click Save, and then for Image Options, I'm just going to click OK. And then you'll see it has a different name. Now, the next thing that you need to do is make a black and white version of this. And there are different ways to do that. I wanted to give you another option that I didn't give people last time. So this may not be on your lesson right now. But um, because we were looking at cyanotypes, there is a way to make this into a cyanotype. And I want to show you how to do that. Um, the latest version of Photoshop eliminated one of my very favorite gradient tools. So if you go up here, I just want to show you right up in the right hand corner under gradients, click on these lines. If you click on something called legacy gradients, I already opened it once, so I'll probably get it twice. Um, legacy gradients contain an actual cyanotype tool. Now, in order to apply it, you're going to go to this tool, the gradient map, and then you'll see it opens with the default, but look at all these beautiful gradients. Um, so the one that we're interested in for this project would be cyanotype, and when you roll over it, it should tell you that it's a cyanotype. So there you go. That's amazing. That looks just like a cyanotype. If you like you can create a cyanotype um, image in addition to your black and white image because I think they're really cool. So if you'd like to do that, you can add it. Um, then you can right click and flatten your image. Another way to flatten your image is go to layer and you can flatten the image there if it's not already flattened. Um, and then if you're happy with it, you can just save it or you can do a levels adjustment. You can go to levels and you can pull on your darks, you can pull on your midtones, and you can adjust it however you like. Okay, so um, you can make it the brights brighter. You don't want to blow it out so you lose detail. You can make your midtones oops, lighter or darker, and you can also make your darks darker or lighter. Okay, now when you're happy with this, flatten your image, and then do File, Save As, and you go through the same exact process, save on your computer. Um, and I'm just going to call this one Spatula 
cyanotype. Click OK. Now, the thing that you need to do that I haven't shown you yet because I threw in this extra thing um, is your black and white. So what I'm going to do is show you how to use the history tool. This is your history tool right up here, these three little squares and an arrow. And this will show you all the different versions. So I'm actually going to go right back to the beginning when I first open this up. And I'm going to go back to my original version just to show you that. Um, and now I'm going to show you right after I inverted it. There you go. So you need to do a black and white version of this. Here's black and white um, in the adjustment layers. Okay. Um, you can also go to image adjustments and you can go to black and white up here and that will put the black and white right on the background layer and here are all your different black and whites that you can play around with you could try different layers different filters excuse me um, you can also just um, pull on your color channels Whoop, let me go back to default okay and not really seeing, there you go. Just wanted to show you that you can make a big difference. I wouldn't use this because it's really um, adding all of these visual artifacts on here that um, are extreme. So I'm just gonna go back to custom and default and I'm gonna click okay on the default. And again, if you want to, you can always add an adjustment layer of levels to make it a little bit darker, a little bit brighter, anything you want. Flatten your image and then do file, save as. And I'm gonna do spatula and just change it to BW. And I already have spatula BW photogram. I'm just gonna call this BW, save it as something different and okay all right that goes through all of the possibilities um, for this project